Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for the mid-month. This is your mid-month reading for the middle of October. So <laughs> that's what we're doing today. But uh, this is going to be, again, a bonus reading for the middle of October. Uh, I go live, by the way, every single day at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell, and you will catch me live. But let's see what is going on for you here. I feel like you're like in a little bit of a withdrawn period at this time. Maybe things have slowed down or maybe you're just not seeing a lot of movement towards like your desires or, you know, whatever you want to call it here with your first card in that first position. But let's keep this going before I say too much. And um, you show up here. Your outcome in this reading is you. Uh, so definitely showing up in a position of power and strength. You also have the strength card here as well. And it comes up in the same diagonal as you, the death card. So I like to see that. Your overall energy is the Seven of Cups, so kind of spoiled for choice this month. I feel like you could have a lot of opportunities. I almost feel like you could just be doing a lot of dreaming, planning, kind of manifesting type stuff here with the Seven of Cups. So I do like to see that here. Eight of Cups, walking away from things that no longer serve you. Uh, I actually like this. To me, this is like um, kind of contrast is what I would say here. Uh, Seven of Cups, the Eight of Cups is like realizing what you don't want, walking away from it, walking towards what you do want. So I like that. Uh, you start off with this yin energy here. So again, I feel like things have maybe slowed down this month or things have been taking their time this month for you. And I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing with this card. I feel like that can be a good thing. I feel like you're just, you've kind of had to learn to be flexible at this time. And I feel in a lot of ways that that flexibility is just like slowing things down. Maybe life has slowed down uh, pretty much whatever. You have the Three of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and you also have the Judgment card showing up here. For some of you, I feel like you are being asked to deal with some emotions here with that Three of Swords. Three of Swords is emotions and it can represent, you know, fears. It can represent kind of being distraught, being very sad as well. It can represent a heartbreak, of course. But I feel like you could be being asked to deal with some emotions from a past person here. Maybe this is someone who you saw as a knight in shining armor. With You have the knight of cups here as well. So I do feel like for some of you, it's like you either saw someone as a knight in shining armor or you are being asked or you were asked to deal with a heartbreak. This is kind of coming up in your past position as well. So I feel like for some of you, maybe you've been healing from a heartbreak. And it's like now in the future, it's like you're going to be looking for something new possibly. Uh, we're going to talk, look into this and see what happens. For others, I almost feel like this is saying that you need to get to the point where you're willing to accept new love into your life. I almost feel like you are denying love here for some reason is what's popping into my head. So I feel like there could be a knight in shining armor coming in for you, but because of a heartbreak, you know, you could be having a hard time um, opening up to something new that could be coming in for you here. So I feel like there's a need to do that. That's interesting. In this row here, you have the judgment card strength to, to justice. And, you know, this is kind of like judgment is like your inner calling and or feeling pulled maybe towards someone new here and this justice card is cause and effect it's just saying you know put a little bit of energy into something new and you'll get energy back so it's like just kind of this back and forth energy that i'm getting in this row here if that makes sense uh, next, you have the King of Swords in your middle row here. I feel for some of you, maybe you're kind of, I feel like you're just like waiting for answers is what's popping into my head. King of Swords is kind of like a card of discernment, logic, using your brain, having a lot of wisdom, you know, like all this other stuff, right? But I feel for some of you, maybe you've taken a break in the past after some sort of heartbreak. And maybe this was like a wake up call for you. Maybe this kind of it was something that you didn't expect. But at the same time, I feel like it maybe led to a lot of wisdom or maybe you're just waiting for wisdom. Maybe you're just waiting to uh, gain closure or clarity over a past situation. I do feel like some of you, again, could have been someone you saw as a knight in shining armor and could have been someone who was a little bit older than you as well. And that's not going to be true for all of you, but some of you. And I feel like now you're just like waiting for closure. You have the four wands, the strength card. And the queen of uh, the actually the page of wands here and i feel for some of you that four of wands is i feel people calling you here the four of wands to me is a card of marriage of course but to me it's also a card of freedom and celebration normally on a four of wands there are the 
four wands and there are people celebrating on the other side. The four wands in this one, they kind of border the card here. They kind of go around the card instead of being like 11-11, the two wands on either side here. But I do feel like you are being called to enjoy life at this time. I feel like you are being asked to maybe step out into the world or to socialize, especially if you went through a difficult heartbreak in the recent past or a difficult situation. The other thing is, is you could have just been having a lot of shocks, I feel, with the judgment card, having a lot of realizations. This is almost like ascension type symptoms that I'm getting on the judgment card. So you could be going through something spiritually as well. I feel like this four of wands is saying like, make sure to open up to people in your life. Make sure, you know, it's like people want to help you. People want to celebrate with you, but it's like open up to those people. I feel for some of you, you are going to be doing something that is almost like a display of strength at this time. The strength card represents a display of strength. You know, he is like, look, he is wrestling a bull on this card. So the strength card kind of represents a display of strength or showing off in some ways. I feel like, again, um, that your challenge here is finding something you want with the page of wands or finding an adventure that could be fulfilling. It's interesting. She has like this, it almost, she has these flowers in her hands and it's like she's got this love letter almost, it looks like right down here. And she kind of looks like she's looking off into the distance. I feel like your challenge this month is going to be, is like finding fulfillment. I feel like your challenge this month with this card here is saying that it's like you are look it's like you're almost yearning for something. I feel like you are kind of like looking for something to desire. So maybe you are looking for love and it's like you're hoping to find someone that you actually desire, that you have desire for. Maybe you're looking for an adventure. Maybe you're looking to travel or move or start a business, but I feel like you're looking for something that moves you with this card. Um, next you have this forgiveness card. So definitely I feel like forgiving the past and like moving on, truly forgiving it would be a good idea. For some of you, it could just be forgiving yourself as well, which also could be helping. So I do feel like that could release a burden. For others, I feel like you could, again, just be having a realization this month uh, or the rest of this month as to maybe why you went through this heartbreak or challenge, and that could almost be setting you free. Yeah, it's like you're, you have this, this is a zombie card here, Scorpio. It's like you're taking back control of your life. I feel like you're being given more control as well. You have the Justice card, the King of Wands, and the Death card here as well. I do feel for some of you that this is just saying that there is, you know, an, there could be an apology coming in for some of you with this Justice card. That could be setting you free here. For others, I feel like you're just balancing yourself out. Um, so it's not really a good answer because I just feel like this is time, more or less, and it's like time is what's setting you free. You have this, uh, with this King of Wands here as well, I feel like you're just look, finding something that you can put your heart and soul into. King of Wands to me, is an energy of like wholehearted energy, more so than the Queen of Wands. King of Wands to me is a card of raising thing, something like a child. It's like really a card, an energy of giving something everything you got. So for some of you, again, it's like with this Page of Wands, your challenge is maybe finding something that you desire to do. Uh, maybe you're just feeling restless this month, or maybe you have been feeling restless. The King of Wands really tells me that you are going to be finding something to put your energy into. Could be love, could be um, a project, could be pretty much anything. And uh, your outcome is the death card, is you. So I feel like you're showing up in a very strong position. And look, I mean, she looks like badass, right, on this card here. So I feel like you're really going to be kind of ending this month, stepping into your power, feeling really strong, feeling really motivated, making major changes as well. She has like this wheel uh, right here that I'm really focused on. It almost looks like the wheel of fortune right down there. And so I feel for some of you, there's like a, could be a total turnaround uh, coming in for you this month and that would be nice. But uh, let's clarify this and let's see uh, what else we get for you in this reading. So, Scorpio, uh, between the Three of Swords here and the Four of Hearts, you have the Three of Hearts. I mean, the Four of Wands, you have the Three of Hearts here. Uh, this is just a card of moving in the right direction. So again, if you're moving towards new people, letting go of the past here, I feel like you're heading in the right direction. Three of Hearts, I just call an indicator card. And, um, you know, in playing cards, we don't have reversals. And this is not a real Lenormand card. And to me, the Three of Hearts just is an indicator card. It just indicates the direction of the reading and then just says things are moving in a positive direction. Between the Knight of Cups here and the Strength card, you have the Eight of Diamonds. So love it. 
A eight of diamonds is called the key, and to me it represents material success on the horizon, but it also says you hold all the keys necessary to achieve whatever it is you want to achieve. Net of Cups is your dreams, you know? It is your inner calling with the judgment card as well. Net of Cups, he is dreaming of a future life. The strength card is like all the work that's going to require you to, you know, do something that you want to do, but the eight of diamonds says you have it in you. So I feel like you can have whatever you want at this time, Scorpio, and especially like in work or business as well. Uh, between the Judgment card here and the Princess of Wands, you have the Five of Clubs. Yeah, going looking for an adventure. Five of Clubs, definitely a restless energy. Five of Clubs, again, is just a playing card. I used to call Five of Clubs Indiana Jones. Um, Cancer had it this week as well. I think Pisces also had it. Um, but it is an, an adventure energy. It's like feeling restless, wanting to do something, not being sure what to do, not being sure what direction to go in. But I do feel like you will be finding an adventure uh, at this time. Here you go, the boat right here. Between the four wands and the justice card, you have the boat. This is like a, sh you know, it's actually called a ship, like a boat on the ocean. It just represents moving from one thing to another. So I do feel like there is just movement in general coming in for you here, Scorpio. You could be moving forward, moving on. You could be just, you know, moving on to bigger and better things. Like on this justice card here, there's like winter on one side and spring on the other and a harvest. So I feel for a lot of you, uh, you could be moving towards a harvest. Between the Strength card and the King of Wands, you have the Six of Hearts. Love it. Definitely a turnaround. Um, Six of Hearts is called the Star, and it just represents obstacles being removed from your life. So I do feel for some of you, there could be a turnaround. I almost feel like saying there's a lot of luck as well. So I do feel that it's almost like there could be some sort of chance encounter or some sort of opportunity that really sets you free. I really feel like you're being called with that four wands. So for some of you, it's like maybe you're stuck in your business and it's like maybe someone gives you an idea. Maybe someone says something to you that sets you free. Same thing in love as well. It's like maybe there's just some sort of opportunity where maybe your friend's like, hey, come out with us tonight. And then you go out and you meet like someone you're very attracted to or you meet the love of your life. So I would be open to those kind of like surprising opportunities. The six Six of Hearts, again, to me, kind of represents the removal of obstacles in your life. It is a card of kind of a turnaround. It's not really a card of second chances in the Lenormand, but it does represent, like I said, obstacles being removed. So it kind of says you can try something that you wanted to do in the past. You can try again. Uh, between the Page of Wands and the Death card, you have the Seven of Clubs. Yeah, difficult ending is what I would say here. Seven of Clubs is called the Mice, and it represents something happening very, very slowly or slowly making progress. So I do feel like you are kind of just slowly stepping into yourself here. Uh, in your top row, you have the Anchor here. You have the Boat and the Anchor. I actually really like that for you, Scorpio. Um, the Anchor can represent being stuck somewhere, but with the Boat also showing up here, it is just saying that you're moving somewhere and you're putting your Anchor down somewhere else. So for a lot of you, this is some major moving on energy, and this is a major moving forward energy, but you're also anchoring yourself to a better place. So this is not a bad thing. Again, look, we have the boat on the cold side of the, the uh, justice card here. We have the anchor on the beautiful spring side of this card here. So I feel in a lot of ways that you are just moving on to calmer shorts, like six of swords type energy there. Uh, in your middle row here, you have the Queen of Clubs, Card of Seduction. I do feel like you are going to find someone that you're very attracted to. Yeah, I feel like they will stand out. I don't really take pop-outs, but you have the sun wanting to pop out there as well. So I do feel like you will be, um, or could be, finding someone uh, where there is like a very strong pull, where there's a very strong uh, desire to be with that person. But let's see here. In your bottom here, you have the Seven of Hearts. This is called the tree, and it represents like the family tree. So for some of you, you could be meeting someone that is going to lead you towards like, that's going to be your true love. Like, look at how this is set up. Three of swords, strength, death, like some sort of difficult ending that has required a lot of strength, probably a breakup. Three of hearts, six of hearts, seven of hearts, something amazing coming in for you with the four of hearts here, marriage. Six of hearts, seven of hearts, leading to you having a family. Even if you don't want to have a family, this could just be a deep commitment or love that you truly desire. So it's like you're heading in the right direction here towards something that you truly desire in your life. And I feel like that's going to be uh, just amazing for you here, Scorpio. So I definitely love to see that. For some of you, I feel like you're acting as, like I get, I get this act as if energy here. I'm just gonna say that um, <laughs> this reminds me of uh, this guy here, the strength card. He's got this red bandana on his head, right? 
Um, I remember when I was like a little kid, I had this friend who was obsessed with, uh, I think it was in Rambo, and uh, he had this, he used, he was obsessed with the movie Rambo, and he used to put on this red bandana, and he would, it was this like red, you know, thing around his head, just exactly like what that guy has right there. It was like a piece of cloth, right? And when this kid would put that red bandana on, or the red whatever it was on, he would be going crazy, right? It's like it turned him into another person. It turned him into something else. And that's what I feel for you, but in such a good way here, Scorpio, it's almost like you could be uh, forming like an alter ego, or you could be kind of like feeling like something makes you feel a certain way. Maybe it's like a piece of clothing. I feel like I said this to you a month, like a, a few weeks ago, Scorpio. It's almost like you're making some sort of change. I feel the same thing. It just popped into my head, because it's like I, I said this to you a couple weeks ago. I don't remember when I said it, but it's almost like you're stepping into an energy or it's like you're maybe you're getting a piece of clothing or something that makes you feel a certain way and I feel like it just, it's gonna give you so much power and kind of allow you to step into your strength so that's really standing out to me I do feel like some of you could be making a change again it could be a change to the way you look it doesn't have to be it could be a, a, a pair of shoes it could be something that you wear but there's like something that is gonna give you all the confidence in the world I always tell people as well I mean it's crazy I got this camera that I'm shooting for on for this channel here and um, before I was using like a cheaper camera that was okay, but I like I wanted something better and I also had plans to use the camera for other things as well. And it's crazy. I literally, literally got this camera and immediately my channel exploded. Um, I was struggling, you know, for years to get this channel to grow. I was like stuck at 40,000 forever, right? 40,000 subscribers. I get this camera, my camera and my channel exploded. So, you know, which came first, the chicken or the egg? I say that it doesn't really matter, right? <laughs> it doesn't really matter if it was a camera or if I was just gonna be growing anyway. And I feel like, um, I'm not saying this, again, to brag or anything like that. I'm saying this because I feel like a similar situation. I feel like there's something, that, an energy that you're stepping into in this reading, if that makes sense, where it's like once you get it, it's like something's gonna take off, whether it's your love life, your business life, doesn't really matter. It's like you're getting some sort of secret tool or something that gives you power. And um, so I love that. So thank you for watching, Scorpio, and definitely enjoy your month.